Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is uh, Kiedi Zayon, and we're here just because someone asked me a quick question about infinite uh, power for your, um, your regulator. Uh, currently within uh, 3.03 or 3.0.3 and uh, 3.1.2, uh, deployers have actually been uh, rather buggy for um, putting out things such as a um, such as water down to, um, <coughs> sorry about that, um, to actually put down water so you can actually use a pump to put in, uh, for water. So, to find that, we had to find a different solution. Uh, normally, uh, you would do this with a, um, with two, uh, deployers utilizing, uh, uh, lava buckets and water buckets, uh, to create lava, but f due to the effect of this not being, uh, <laughs> not working correctly, uh, this actually has led us to create uh, new ways of creating infinite power for our combustion engines. Um, so let's begin with the lava, which is simply, uh, this is beyond overpowered for what it is, which is a uh, high voltage um, solar panel, MSFU, and your, yeah, and your lava fabricator. Lava kit fabricators are an IC2 thing that creates, well, lava, as you can see. You utilize the um, oil or fabricator as well, or you can just, uh, which actually then you can just put through a refinery and create yourself some fuel. Uh, I just like prefer lava just because it's a one step go for uh, fuel. It's simply utilizing a redstone, or if you want to be fancy, uh, steam with a um, anything else really, with any other uh, type of fuel to actually uh, do it. Or if you wanted to get all fancy multiple. Um, combustion engines actually feed upon each other and creating and all that stuff. Gold piping to actually uh, feed your uh, combustion engine or engines if you're actually doing a full um, array for power, which that you would go through these uh, pipes right here for your power pipes. Uh, to that, the water actually is a um, a unique little thing, which uh, this is, again, a little overpowered, or it could be actually underpowered, which is three uh, Mark III collectors creating uh, lava buckets, which actually create quite fast. If this was to be um, going through anywhere between 10 to maybe 15 of these um, combustion engines, yeah, this may be a little bit uh, more reasonable. This goes through a uh, transposer, which actually will take out a single water bucket per per, just because you're not picking up an entire stack, so a filter would not make any sense. Going through your uh, uh, tomatic tubes, you'll go through, um, you'll just pump it straight in here. Oops. Um, going into the in here when it's you know, fill it up, automatic, automatically. Uh, your timer just set to a two second. Uh, it, this could be anywhere between any type of uh, redstone wire or actually insulated wire. If you're actually doing, if you want to use that, like that, along with a uh, bundle cable, it would, I would say this, or just because the uh, redstone wire will actually start disrupting stuff. A Repeater just so it'll delay the actual uh, pulling out process of your of your stuff put into a anywhere else really. If you want to take out your empty lava buckets or even your normal water buckets and put into an and add to your uh, ECM uh, feeding bu system. Uh, for example, like uh, if you're making redstone matter, you can actually passively make this. Um, this is a very 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 uh, crude design. This is not even close to optimized for space or anything else. So, this is because I'm uh, very, very, very early in the morning for this. Uh, otherwise, this will work for what it is. Again, you can utilize lava, oil, fuel for your fuel source for combustion engine. And from here, whatever you pipe this into, your quarries, your um, automated... Um, your builders, your anything else really. You can then have an infinite amount of power to actually power these devices as fast as you want to. Um, uh, otherwise, uh, yes, thank you for uh, watching um, and have a good day. Thank you.